you are naturally by nature radiant. You don't have to practice becoming radiant and giving. You don't have to become able to send love and light. You are all the time in the center of your being. So relax the body, relax the mind, return to center with the natural intent to radiate love, forgiveness, peace, harmony, solutions into this planet and into the collective consciousness of mankind. We become aware of the calling that exists in the hearts of billions of people right now all across the world. Now this calling is not new. It's been in the hearts of mankind. It's been in the hearts of people for a long time. This is the calling for clarity. It's the calling for resolve. It's the calling for harmony, for peace, for love, for forgiveness. So become aware of the need that is present in mankind for clarity, for love. The calling, the asking that is there for love, for liberation. Just gently be aware of the crying hearts of humanity without getting lost in defining that as a problem, without getting lost in seeing that as wrong, as seeing that as sad. Just be aware of the calling. Be aware of the need that exists in the hearts of men. Let it activate within you this blueprint of why you are here. Let it realign your priorities to become a clear match, to being able to offer the solution that is being sought, that is being called for. And what is the solution but connection to self, connection to the invisible self, The point is that we are all on our journey and the point is that we are all here with a similar intention. And the point is that there are billions of people out there calling for assistance, calling for help, whether or not they are fully aware of this. And the point is that you are here in a fully functioning incarnative experience. And that you, as someone listening to information like this, is able to realign your priorities, to realign your life to come from that center, to become aware of this calling more consciously. And I believe it's what brought many of you even here to begin with. So why not live out your purpose? Why not live out the very thing that brought you here, the intention that brought you here? By lovingly hearing the call, not closing your ears to them, not closing your heart to that calling, but to respond one step at a time, one day at a time. Always checking in at the start, middle, and end of your day to see if you're still in the center, if you're still in the eye of the storm, or if you've gotten caught up in the negative definitions that this society is so keen on throwing out there onto whatever appears. Can you remain undistracted? Can you see through the mist? Can you see through the storm and stay in center? So that this infinite intelligence, which made all of us, this oneness, if you will, can more effortlessly, more directly inform your body, your mind, your speech, your actions, your inspirations, your attention. Let the creator talk to you, through you. Let it speak to you. Let it inform you. Let it guide you. Let it inspire you. Don't let human definitions inspire you. Let the calling, which is real, in the hearts of many, let that inspire you. Let that be the fuel for your compassion, the motivation for your realignment of your priorities to become more of service to the benefit of all. Let that which informs your actions be the space which is hearing my voice right now. Be the eye of the storm, which does not change, which does not move. Develop that relationship to yourself. Remember your eternal nature. 
Remember your infinite capacity. Remember that in truth, in essence, that ultimately what you are is no different from that infinite source, that infinite creator, which enabled all this. Wouldn't it fulfill you to be able to devote yourself to this love and this light being sent out to all beings? <laughs>